is the sort of game I can get behind. All right. Speaking of getting behind, uh, everybody An ass that chooses won't a quit. <laughs> what? Get behind my ass that won't quit. Oh, gross! God, why? Is get behind so- my ass. No. <laughs> All right, everybody choose a food. Say your choice out loud for the rest of the uh, other players before clicking. I'm just going to say fucking sausage. I- I'm sorry. Can you please clarify? Vegan sausage. <laughs> no, okay, not that's... a fucking sausage. Okay. That's different. Oh, I see. All right. Mine's a donut. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go with poutine. I just really oh. want some fucking savory I'm, breakfast I'm foods now. today. I just want potato and gravy. Mm-hmm. Player order is decided based on how funny it would be to give Fee the nickname Fee the Cool whatever. Fee the Cool Vegan Sausage versus mm, Fee the Cool Patine or Fee the Cool Donut. Uh, I feel like I'm a cool donut. But which is funniest? Which is funniest, uh, Fiona? It's the vegan sausage. Is it the vegan sausage? Yes! Poutine is second, donut I, I third. I don't think that. I don't think that's true. I think it's true. I, I'm not going to lie. I think the, the vegan sausage is a distant third. What? Poutine at the front. I think donut poutine's and second. pretty weird. I also like poutine. Ah, uh, perfect. We'll do that. All right. Great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, V. Evening. She's far too kind and considerate over there. Mm-hmm. That's because she's picking things that actually make sense, Tony. That does, what? We were we, we were go. debating which. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Apparently, going outside is the rave. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to go to the auditorium. Mm-hmm. Uh, that day while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel you're not as good as the role requires you to be. There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there, but there might be an extraordinary way. You summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to enhance your creativity just a bit. I get creativity. You also lose three years of your life at the your end of the deal. But who cares? They weren't happening in-game anyway. <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, you're practicing your very best monster mash when you hear the sounds of an argument, which is so strange in these sacred hollowed halls of education. Well, JK, can you imagine? Bro. Tony! Ray. They made me their king, and they deserve the bestest, most wonderful king there ever was. I'm gonna work as hard as I can to be that king, no matter what it takes. Scott, you realize they're not cute little baby animals in need of a king, right? They're furries. I know they're furry, Vera. I'm the one who told you that. No, Scott, they're furries. It's a kink. Yes, Vera, there are many kinks in my plan. That's why I need to work them out to be the best ruler. Forget it. (laughs) Excuse me, did you say you need help being a good ruler? I know all about that. Being a king is easy, as Daddy always says. Only live peasants can stage a rebellion. Is she dressed up as Daisy? (laughs) Oh my god! She is! She is! Okay. Oh, Miranda, I'm not really sure. Fear is your most important weapon. Your second most important weapon is actual weapons. Torture soup spoons, razor teacups, a knife on fire. You know, the usual. I don't know, Miranda. I appreciate the advice, but I don't think that's the kind of king I want to be. Nonsense. I'll go get you the butter knife shuriken right now. It just seems so unnecessary. There must be a better, kinder way to rule. Right, Tony? I want them to have a happy time under Scott the First. They've been so, so nice to me. They've written me beautiful songs, which are about my adventures, but most of them are the sorts of things I definitely have not done. And they've made amazing drawings of me which are very, very generous in their proportions. I just think they deserve the best leader. Oh, he's so sincere. Okay, so normal rulers make their peasant subjects pay taxes, but what if you pay taxes to them? Flag time, you can't rule a kingdom with no flag without a flag. It would be just a bunch of flagless you people. You absolutely cannot rule a kingdom without a flag. We're going with flag. You're 120% right. Flags are best. Let's combine our art powers to create the very best flag ever. Uh, you get into intense art frenzy, which is kind of hot and intimate. Somehow the two of you end up shirtless and sweaty <laughs> while painting and doodling. Wow. After three hours of passionate art activity, you put your clothes on again. Because of decency, but mainly because we don't have a shirtless model for Scott. And admire your work. Whoa, this is genius! No, it's actually a not-so-bad drawing of Scott shirtless in the words, Scott rules. But sure, why not? You know how to take a compliment. Scott leaves all excited, ready to execute your plan. As your elders always say, any problem can be solved by drawing shirtless people. Hell yeah. Later you stumble upon Scott again. He seems quite excited. There you are, Tony! The first time I've worn my normal outfit. Your plan was a success. My beloved furry seemed to have a flag that's 
a love of life that's basically just me shirtless. They declared it a national day that should be celebrated yearly by drawing me shirtless. Which is kind of silly because they do that pretty much every day anyway. But the important thing is that now I'm the best ruler ever and it's thanks to you. I would love for you to visit my kingdom someday. We might even celebrate Shirtless Scott Day together. Wink. Wink. <laughs> uh, you're pretty sure skirt Shirtless Scott Day will totally become your fa all-time favorite festivity. You gain plus two charm and plus one three. Wow, so charming. so charming and smart. Uh, I'm just bold and sort of smart. Well, you made a fire. Sort of fun. I mean, bold is that's thing. true. It is my thing, it's hard not and that's to be why bold. I'm going to spend this turn in the bathroom. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of the eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way! <laughs> the graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck! And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. Oh. What a wall! A deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain plus two boldness. Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. Huh. Wow, so you really are just super bold. Later, you see Damien packing a bag. I'm going away for the weekend. To detention. I have fucking detention again. Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with booby traps that poured selkie piss on whoever opened it? I mean, Rude. I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Let me spill the tea. The school is strict, strict as fuck. <laughs> anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond fucking ditching. Do it, do it, just fucking ditch, do it! <laughs> Cross species, economic, and social barriers to make lifelong friends with a diverse group of students in attention and find out through silly dancing <laughs> that you're not so different after all. Alright, what uh, you gonna do? Uh, just fucking ditch, do, do it! it. Do it, do it! Or you can breakfast club. You can breakfast club. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna breakfast club it. I don't think he's gonna like that. I never really thought of making connections before. <laughs> I could always use a scapegoat for some of my more sinister plans. Sure. When the weekend is over, the tales of Damien's detention echo through the halls. Apparently, it left three Ooh. of your fellow classmates in the hospital. Apparently, his method of forming offbeat, quirky friendships includes hilarious violence. When he finds out that his attempt at making friends in detention has landed him in detention again... His quirky violence extends to you, silly and painful. You lose two smarts and one fun. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just an agent of boldness right, now. I'm like no fun, <laughs> and I think I feel like I should just hang on. You're the very library. creative, though. I am. Are and, you're you and you're charming, too. Yeah, but uh, are you anywhere near as creative and charming and smart as... Library. God, what character even am I? You're like a Frankenstein lady. Frankenstein that lady. That day you spent some time in the library's PCs mining some bitcoins. Shit. Hope you this get some money. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody is actually has any fucking idea how it works. They don't. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to plus two million dollars. And the sound of a vacuum in the distance. Which <laughs> unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars. So, two money. Oh good, you're not Apparently going anymore. to the library gets you money. Mm -hmm. mm. You're hanging out with Polly afterwards, watching some porn, like you do in the library. Yeah. When suddenly notice Miranda standing right behind you. Who knows how long she's been there. Hello, good friends. What are you doing? Um, uh, nothing? Nothing at all. It does not seem to be nothing. That seems to be kindly sharing his marmalade with the giant skunk. Explain this at once. Well, it's simple, you know. It's really kind of a, well... <laughs> it's, it's a, a cooking show. <laughs> well, you see, Miranda, when a man and a giant skunk... Mm, mm, mm. Uh, mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. It's a it's a cooking show. Yes, yes, cooking. A cooking show? How marvelous! I have little experience with cooking, as our servants handle all the meals at my castle. Perhaps I can learn a thing or two as well. Do you mind if I watch with you? Uh, sure. Go nuts. Several hours pass. You're sure Miranda's going to catch on eventually, but so that's what they're always doing in the kitchen. I had no idea it involved so much nudity. I can't wait to try some of these <laughs> recipes myself. Oh, they aren't. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Go live your best life, girl. Hell yeah. Thank you, I will. Maybe you'll get to Miranda's assistant chef someday. You gain plus two charm and plus one smarts. Wow. Hmm. A little creepy.
creepy. Yep, that weekend something happened to. Is it gonna be? Oh, it's Tony. Me again. Let's go. All right, let's go. You're having a quiet evening with a coconut and totally not human flesh flavored smoothie when Polly phases in. Sup, Tony? You planning on coming to my death day party? It's gonna be lit. It's gonna have all kinds of reminders of the way I died. Guillotines, quicksand, alligators, and all the food will be poisoned, of course. Wait, what? How exactly did this girl die again? You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm really into the idea of sharing my afterlife with a fellow ghost, you know? Think of all the cute ghost dates we can go on. Going to haunted houses on Halloween and actually haunting them. Walking through walls to get where we want to go. Appearing in turns to reveal perspective and, <laughs> and truth to greedy old misers <laughs> who don't appreciate the holidays. You know, all that classic ghost stuff. But I also kind of wouldn't hate dating Fee. So I guess my question to you is, when do you think his death day party will be? Like, will he become a ghost soon-ish at least? I'm not super patient, but I do think he parties down and could party even further down as a ghost. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Fee, that reckless ass <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Kill you him. have to choose that one. Fee, when I can't eat gluten. I cannot, it's true. Well, the Shh, they would be dead. <laughs> And, and so the other option is Fee is going to be around a long time. Trust me. Here is a place reserved in a retirement community. Take a bingo. Expert knitter. Okay. Now we're yeah, going to go yeah, there. No, now no. got to choose the gluten. <laughs> gluten? Ha! I knew Fee lived life on the wild side, which will hopefully take him right into an early grave. Hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> Ideally, the grave right next to mine. We can party for all eternity and make random ee noises on sound recordings. Like this. Eee if you decide to die anytime soon, you're welcome to come to our ghost raves. They're going to be ghastly. Well, you're not really sure how Fia's going to feel excited about all this impending the words. But impending death. <laughs> hopefully he'll be psyched that uh, it's a death approved and eagerly awaited by Polly. Wow. Oh man, how awkward is it going to be if Fia's actually in love with Scott and now you're all psyched about his dying for nothing like a, a sociopath. <laughs> you mean plus three fun for sending Fia to an early awesome grave. It's so fun. So fun. Let's trade. Choose right. an object. Uh, Say your choice out loud for the rest of the players. Uh, eggplant. Uh, hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Lavender. A tiny ant. Wow, we literally none of us chose objects. That's What's kind an of an object? object. It kind of. I chose eggplant because my brain could only think of dildos in that moment. <laughs> and I Play didn't want to actually say dildo. Player orders decide based on how disturbing it would be if an insane person decided to date and marry the selected object. So, would it be bad to start dating a tiny ant? Uh, That's eh. I mean, you know? eggplant is more disturbing. Egg I mean... Eggplant is more disturbing. And, and Fee, what did you say? You said, said lavender. lavender. Yeah. I feel like the ant is the most disturbing to me because the ant can't give consent to that relationship. I disagree. I think the eggplant is way more disturbing. Well, it sounds like it's two for eggplant and one for ant. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Start dating. Yay! Oh, God, we've only got three more days left, guys. Let's do this! Or three more choices left, yep. I suppose. Okay, fuck, where am I gonna go? I haven't been to the auditorium yet. I've been to the bathroom. I don't think I've been to the... Have I been to the gym? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I went there to go to the shop, though. So I didn't actually oh, go to the gym. Oh, 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 oh. Been to the library. Haven't been to class. Auditorium or gym? I mean, there's always the bathroom again. No, I'm good in the bathroom for right now, I think. I want to wow. do I want to do the auditorium. Bold move on the bathroom. I like I like drama. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you're struck by the lightning of inspiration. You come up with the ultimate nickname for yourself. You tell everyone to call you by it, also known as one of the seven most douchebaggish moves in the world. But the nickname is so awesome, inventive and appropriate that people decide to go with it. Quite the feat. You gain plus two creativity. Wow. Hell yeah. We, the devs, dare you to actually come up with a nickname <laughs> for yourself and ask the other players to call you by that name until the end of this run. What's it gonna be, Mal? Oh, I mean... Yeah, five seconds. Five. Four. What? <laughs> Three. <laughs> what? One. I mean, it's so... E there's. It's pretty easy to come up with cool nicknames with my name, so it's just gonna be Mal the Malevolent. Uh, malevolent. Yeah. Okay. Mal no. Malevolent. Mal no. Malevolent. No. <laughs> Flame malevolent. It, you can't. You can't say. You can't say it fast like Blecos or Souls. What? So. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. All right. Fine. 
you're gonna be that way, Tony. You go up <laughs> to the light booth to see how Polly and Damien are doing. Lame. That's how we're doing. Uh, here, can someone else take uh, Damien? If uh, uh, what voice were you even doing for I, him? Yeah. I was just doing a normal voice. If I'd known they'd stick me up here just because I missed auditions to go to that monster truck rally, I still would have gone to that monster truck rally. But I would have gotten in like nine more fights while I was there. Why did I have to be on so many cool drugs during casting? I thought the lights were butterflies and I just wanted to play with them. That's all in the past now. As long as we're here, I guess we better make the best of it. By fucking with Liam! But he's so hard to mess with. He's like really good at acting. Come on. Between the three of us, I'm sure there's something we can do to make him forget his lines. You could rewrite the whole play, <laughs> but just Liam's lines. Or rocket, rocket launcher. launcher. Oh, this is difficult. Oh boy. Uh, oh no, you only have two minutes. Two, only two minutes. All right. Well, here, let this, me think. Uh, I'm oh, really down no. for this plague doctor outfit. Yeah, it's very good. I mean, plague doctors were. I mean, they were hot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I have a thing for plagues. Yeah, oh, that's quite the outfit. I mean, and they're super and, heavy. and the, they're doctors. Mo no, mostly just plagues. All right, rocket launcher. Uh, Are you gonna rewrite uh, the play? Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Rewrite the play. Hell yeah, writing. Hell yeah, vandalism. Everything is going super well until you get your hands on the script and realize you've forgotten how to read. Hey, why are you staring the script upside down like that? Oh my god, they can't read. Forget messing with Liam. This is way fucking funnier. Oh, if only you went to class once in a while instead of constantly trying oh. to bang your classmates. You lose three smarts. No, I'm stupid. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Mean Fuck, I should have chosen the rocket launcher. Damn. My, I'm so happy with my stats that I don't deserve. Y yeah, it's not fair. You're doing really well. I am good at things. That day, your teacher delivers an amazing creative performance that blows your mind. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. Your teacher gains plus 10 coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates. Or is he? We hope not. Oh, you also gained plus two smarts. Hooray! Hooray. Huh. You hear an almost dog-like whimpering and go to see what sort of poor animal is in pain. The Scott. answer is Scott. Who's cross-eyed with consideration. He helps and snaps out of it. Oh, bro, thank goodness you're here. I was trying to think all by myself, and it was really hard, you know? <laughs> See, I know I'm the best at exercising. I'm the exercise master, the exercise lord, the exorcist. But I've never tried exercising my brain. In a way, the brain is almost part of the body, too, you know? In a way. It's sort of three in one, because it'll make me better at exorcism. And I'm, being smarter will keep me from getting bad grades and kicked off sports team. That wasn't three things, or one thing, but you still have some ideas. So books are like weights for your brain. The heavier the weights are better. So you just need to lift some really heavy books. Or you could brainstorm, which, I mean, let's make a literal actual storm inside your brain. Oh, wow. Actual storm. I think he's just going like to like this, one, this upper books. one. He wants yeah. to lift books. Oh, that makes total sense. Everyone always talks about how people read big books must be really smart. So if I bench press big books, Touchdown. then my smarts will become strong. Touchdown. And people will say, do you even lift? And I'll say, yeah, books. And then when I get really smart, I can phone books in half. Those have tons of words and numbers. So they should be like books for super smart people. Finally, used for all those phone books nobody uses anymore. You gain plus Damn. two creativity, creativity and plus one smarts. All right. All right, shut up, person. Um, my choices are... This zombie's going to come back into play. I know it. Yeah. Uh... I'm gonna go outside again. I'm gonna Hell just yeah. rave. Hell yeah. Rave all day. <laughs> at one point, one the mo small magical Latino cat slips on a banana peel. You start to laugh at him. Oh my god. He asks you to stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him that somehow you steal plus two fun from him. Hooray. Hooray. Right, because that's how fun canonically works in this universe. Uh -huh. Apparently. In the course of your activities, you come across Vera and Polly hatching yet another scheme. You sneak a little closer so you can eavesdrop. Hi. Listen, this has been a fruitful partnership so far in terms of making people look like imbeciles, but I think it's time we monetize. Sick burns don't buy fresh outfits. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I guess I could use some new thongs or whatever, but like, I just don't want to stop making people look dumb just so we can make money. I don't want to sell out. 
personally, I can't wait to sell out. But you have a point. We can't sacrifice our brand. The question, of course, is how do we do both? Yeah, how do we get rich off yanking people's chains? Ugh, careful with your choice of words, Polly. What? Chains are a big thing for ghosts. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) They don't seem to have any immediate ideas. Maybe you can offer a solution. Why don't you make up a phony workout craze? It worked for Frank Pilates, the inventor of Pilates. Okay. Oh man, do I have a great prank for you. I call it A <laughs> uh, Phony workout craze, I think, is a better... Oh, it's fair m- enough. It's more creative, which you're, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're high yeah. in stat there. Oh my god. Oh, that's not me. That's so good. <laughs> we can make up a bunch of ridiculous exercises like tongue squats and dick crunches. And encourage people to post selfies of their workout success. Let's see. One week subscription to our proprietary exercise tracker for one dollar. Forty nine ninety nine for every hour thereafter. I think we might just turn a profit on this one, Polly. And hey, if a bunch of people get stronger dicks and tongues in the process, I'm not going to complain, if you know what I mean. Oh, you have no idea what you've just unleashed on the world, but those two seem happy with you. You gain plus one creativity, plus two smarts. Nice. Sick. Let's All trade. Right. All right. So player orders decide based on your ability to mimic the noise a giraffe makes. I do not know what noise a giraffe right, well, makes. Well, let's go in order. Who's first? Uh, well, Mal, you're first. Okay. All right. That's that's gross. <laughs> that's really gross. I've only ever heard them make big tongue noises by grabbing food out of my All hands. Right, I'll go next. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's a giraffe if not a really tall horse? That's my guess. I got nothing. I don't know. All right, I'm Random. Not I think it's... Random. Okay, all right. Nah, Tony gets to go first for once. Tony. Good job, Tony. Because mine was the closest noise to a giraffe noise. No, it noise. wasn't. It totally was. <laughs> hey, if you think my noise was the closest to a giraffe noise, you should hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. If you don't think that, you should still hit the subscribe button. Oh. And also donate to our Patreon. There's information at the video description. You can do it, Fiona. All I right. can. All right, bye, everybody. Bye. bye.